Good morning, friends. This is Pastor Danny Ray coming to you from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adale, Georgia, bringing to you today Rays of Hope. Today, I want to bring you hope by sharing with you that our God acts when a tribulation comes. In Romans chapter 12, verse number 12, we read these words. The Bible says, rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation. Let's say that again, patient in tribulation, continuing instantly in prayer. My friend, the question could be asked, why doesn't God do something when I hurt? Why doesn't he get me out of this mess that I'm in when I'm buried under the trials and tribulations in this old world? Why doesn't God do something to make things better? Well, beloved, to find an answer to these questions, God can and will act in your life if you let him. Now, you notice the latter portion of my statement was, if you let him. Friend, God can and will act if you'll let him talk to you and teach you through your trial or tribulation. You see, for reasons that we do not always understand or know, God chooses most often not to act on our external circumstances, but most often he chooses to act on our internal circumstances. Beloved, you must remember that the kingdom of God is within, and within is naturally where God does most of his work. You see, God chooses most often to do his work in us rather than the external darkness uh, or the opponent that we may face in that external darkness. Listen, this does not mean that God can't do anything in the world uh, that he wants to. He's God. He can do all things. This does not mean that God will not do anything because he can do all things. This does not mean that God cannot or will not change your external circumstances. But listen, we got to face the truth. God is more interested in changing you than he is in changing the physical world in which you live. Listen, if mankind can make a mess out of the world, then mankind should or clean up their own world. In your days of suffering, God wants you to live, God wants you to seek, and God wants you to to walk through the light of his spirit. In your days of suffering, God wants you to stand up as a mature person, to be responsible, to take charge of your life, and to be accountable for the actions that you do. In your darkness and suffering, my friend, God wants you to be teachable in your trials so he may act to teach you rather than rescue you without teaching you. Oh, my friend, isn't it wonderful to know that uh, while we may not see that God is acting, even in our tribulation, to make us what we ought to be. I love the children's song that uh, I used to hear children sing and that I used to sing myself. He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. Father, today we are so grateful that while we may not even know it, you're working in our life, even in the midst of our trials and tribulations, when we can't see your hand and we're constantly wanting to know why you don't do something, God, you are doing something. You're working through our tribulation to make us what we ought to be. Now, Father, I don't know who this may be for or who may be going through a very dark trial or tribulation in their life, but I do know, God, that you're able to take that tribulation and work it together for your good and for their good. And I pray that you'll do that now in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Hey, my friend, you go out into your world today, make a difference in your world. Uh, as you go, be careful and remember to smile. 
let others see Jesus in you for your life may be the only Bible that some will ever read. God bless you now.